Hi there folks and welcome to our latest feature on 60 years of the synthesizer with computer music. In this edition we're going to take a look at the fantastic new GeForce Mtron Mark II software which is a plug-in synthesizer which is designed to mimic the classic Mellotron from the 60s. Although strictly speaking the Mellotron isn't a synthesizer it should be regarded more as a very early sampler. GeForce have done the most fantastic job of recreating this classic machine so we're going to create a patch today that mimics the classic Strawberry Fields Forever flute sound. We're going to begin by starting from an initialized patch. Let's go to the upper display on the plugin, click, and on the drop down, we're going to move down to the user section and we're going to select your patches here. We're now going to save our patch name, so we click the save button, at which point a dialog window will open, and in this dialog box, we can type in the name of our patch. For reasons of copyright, we're going to use a slightly different flavor of name. Once you've typed in your name, you can click the Save button, which you will find at the bottom of the window. This then saves the patch to a location within the operating system on your computer. You can now see that our saved patch name is located at the top here. However, when we play a note on the keyboard, as I'm doing here, you can hear that we can't hear anything at all. That's because at the moment we don't have any sounds loaded into the keyboard. Now the Mellotron was a really interesting device. It wasn't entirely a million miles away from what you might call a Casio Autochord type keyboard where the lower half of the keyboard might have auto accompaniments and rhythms and the upper type of the keyboard might have lead sounds. In actual fact the lower half of the keyboard where it did have accompaniments were played by a live band and if you ever get a chance to explore this plugin fully you can hear all sorts of really interesting and funny things like bossa novas and things like that all played by a live band. However, we're far more interested today in what's going on in the lead sound section in the upper part of the keyboard, which is on the right. You can see that at the moment we have no sound loaded into this keyboard. That's because it says empty. So by clicking on empty, we then have the opportunity to load in the sound that we would like. You could most definitely explore the sounds at this point, but we're going to aim for Mark II leads DI, DI standing for direct input, and we're going to select the DI'd flute. Having selected that sound, you should hear it immediately when you play a note on the keyboard or when you play a note from your own music keyboard. For creating this simple patch, that is pretty much everything you need to do. Anything you do from this point onwards is merely fine tuning. Now the classic sound used back in the 60s was a very very dry sound, however GeForce have offered some nice reverbs if you want to wet the sound up a little bit. If we move up to the top right corner, you can see that we have three dials all relating to reverb. In order to use the reverb, the first thing we must do is turn the level up, at which point you'll hear it. And then we have two additional controls for the length of the reverb and the type of decay for the reverb. So you can play around with that until you get the type of sound which is suitable for your track or for your mix. In terms of playing the notes that are reminiscent of this particular track, you'll understand that for reasons of copyright we can't duplicate it here. But you might like to start with some nice simple triads, so I'm going to play a triad of C major using C, E and G. Play them all together. And also, if you were to play the C as a constant, but put a rhythmic element for the E and the G, you can hear we're not a million miles away from the original. You could also try putting in a second triad, do exactly the same principle using a chord of F, so the C remains constant, and the F and the A play the rhythm. Consequently, you could have something like this. So there we have it. There are plenty of other Mellotron plugins around, including if you're using Logic, there is actually an inbuilt Mellotron, I have to say the GeForce one does go substantially further and you could do a lot more with it and it's got some very inspiring user patches and artist patches which are highly creative. Until next time.